So the new courthouse for Smith County, is that going to affect the jail at all? It will affect the jail somewhat. Uh, the tunnel will be shorter. Uh, there'll be a shorter walk to get into the courthouse. Uh, the, the, the great part of it is the public will never come in contact with a defendant until they're sitting in the courtroom with them. They, they'll come up different elevators on different floors. That's good. And through the tunnel is one way, the, the most popular way that they'll be coming up there, but that'll be all very secure. And uh, I've had the opportunity uh, when, when Judge, Judge Moran started this and then Judge Franklin has picked up uh, the ball and run with it on the courthouse. We've been at every meeting there's been about courthouse security and uh, I, I can't say enough about being able to be there at, from the ground floor up. Uh, and build it right. Exactly. And, and, and you, you don't look at it as, with aesthetics in mind, look at it with, with safety and security. Well, that I think and, and, and one thing is, we've already seen what can happen in Smith County. Oh, yeah. We've had one of the deadly, deadliest courthouse shootings in the state. Uh, so we don't need to sit and wait for another one to happen. We need to plan for it. Will that affect your office at all? Or will it affect your office at all? Uh, we your, will, your physical plant? Yes, we will have more personnel required in, in the safety and security of the new facility. Uh, uh, both and, but it will also, we have to man, if we have personnel, if we have inmates, for yeah. instance, we, we're going to have like eight courtrooms, I think. Some of them will not be filled there for, for the future or for vis visiting judges or whatever. But if we have inmates that uh, the trial's going on, we no longer will have to take them all the way back to the jail, put them in a cell, eat, and come back. We have those facilities will be uh, present in the new courthouse in, in the basement.